In today's video, let's talk about the difference between closing a problem and suppressing a problem in Zabbix. On the screen right now, you can see we have a problem on our Linux server. CPU load is over 90%. And if you click update, and if you have permitted manual closure of problems over here, you may want to say close this problem if this is the expected behavior. Let's say you're running updates or maintenance on this Linux server, and you want to close the problem. Okay, let's close it, but will it remain closed? Triggers are recalculated every time an item collects a new value, right? So what's going to happen once we collect our CPU load, let's say in the next 10 seconds, will the problem remain closed? So we waited for a bit and we can see the problem is reopened and actually you're now getting a new problem. The previous one was closed and you're getting a new one. And if you have some alerting logic defined, that means someone would have received another email now that, hey, CPU load is over 90% again. So what we want to do probably, if this is the expected behavior, we want to click update and we want to suppress the problem. And here we can choose that we want to suppress it indefinitely until someone manually unsuppresses it or until let's say the next hour. Now plus one hour over here, we can also use the calendar tool and select a date until which this problem will be suppressed. And that means that all of the alerting logic for this problem will be halted. So no, no more emails or phone calls or tickets until this problem is unsuppressed. Closing the problem over here is useful for SNMP traps, for log monitoring, for things like that, where you actually can't close the problem, right? You receive an SNMP trap once, let's say, your uh, fan dies, and that's it, right? And it may stay like that for, for weeks on end. So, okay, in that case, you can close it. You won't receive another SNMP trap, which would reopen the problem. But for resource monitoring, what you want to do is suppression. So let's suppress this expected maintenance over here with a message suppress it for one hour and it's being suppressed right now it has this crossed out i symbol over here we can see suppressed till 605 by zabbix admin and now if we refresh the problems page over here right we will see it only if we select show suppressed problems it'll show up with a crossed out i symbol if i deselect show suppressed problems this problem won't even appear in the problem section so no more alerting it won't appear in the problem section by default. Not only if you select show suppressed problems, you will see the problem that's suppressed. And like I said, a good rule of thumb is suppressions are good and meant for resource monitoring. But if we talk about SNMP traps and sometimes log monitoring, this is where closing a problem manually might come in handy.